Onychomycosis, Wikipedia article audio. Onychomycosis, also known as tinea unguium, is a fungal infection of the nail. This condition may affect toenails or fingernails, but toenail infections are particularly common. Signs and Symptoms Causes Dermatophytes Other Risk Factors Diagnosis Classification Differential Diagnosis Treatment Medications Other two Prognosis Epidemiology Research Treatment may be based on the signs. Treatment may be with the medication terbinafine. It occurs in about 10% of the adult population. It is the most common disease of the nails and constitutes about half of all nail abnormalities. The term is from ancient Greek nu upsilon zionix nail, mu kappa eta mks fungus and omega sigma iota cis functional disease. The most common symptom of a fungal nail infection is the nail becoming thickened and discolored, white, black, yellow or green. As the infection progresses the nail can become brittle, with pieces breaking off or coming away from the toe or finger completely. If left untreated, the skin underneath and around the nail can become inflamed and painful. There may also be white or yellow patches on the nail bed or scaly skin next to the nail, and a foul smell. There is usually no pain or other bodily symptoms unless the disease is severe. People with onychomycosis may experience significant psychosocial problems due to the appearance of the nail, particularly when fingers which are always visible rather than toenails are affected. Dermatophytids are fungus-free skin lesions that sometimes form as a result of a fungus infection in another part of the body. This could take the form of a rash or itch in an area of the body that is not infected with the fungus. Dermatophytids can be thought of as an allergic reaction to the fungus. The causative pathogens of onychomycosis are all in the fungus kingdom and include dermatophytes, candida, and non-dermatophytic molds. Dermatophytes are the fungi most commonly responsible for onychomycosis in the temperate western countries, while candida and non-dermatophytic molds are more frequently involved in the tropics and subtropics with a hot and humid climate. Trichophyton rubrum is the most common dermatophyte involved in onychomycosis. Other dermatophytes that may be involved are T. interdigitale. Epidermophyton floccosum, T. violaceum, Microsporum gypsium, T. tonsurans, T. sedanans. A common outdated name that may still be reported by medical laboratories is Trichophyton mentagraphites for T. interdigitale. The name T. mentagraphites is now restricted to the agent of Favis skin infection of the mouse though this fungus may be transmitted from mice and their danders to humans, it generally infects skin and not nails. Other causative pathogens include candida and non-dermatophytic molds, in particular members of the mold genus Cytolidium, Scopula rhiopsis, and Aspergillus. Candida species mainly cause fingernail onychomycosis in people whose hands are often submerged in water. Cytolidium mainly affects people in the tropics, though it persists if they later move to areas of temperate climate. Other molds more commonly affect people older than 60 years, and their presence in the nail reflects a slight weakening in the nail's ability to defend itself against fungal invasion. Aging is the most common risk factor for onychomycosis due to diminished blood circulation longer exposure to fungi, and nails which grow more slowly and thicken, increasing susceptibility to infection. Nail fungus tends to affect men more often than women, 
and is associated with a family history of this infection. Other risk factors include perspiring heavily, being in a humid or moist environment, psoriasis, wearing socks and shoes that hinder ventilation and do not absorb perspiration, going barefoot in damp public places such as swimming pools, gyms and shower rooms, having athlete's foot, minor skin or nail injury, damaged nail or other infection, and having diabetes, circulation problems which may also lead to lower peripheral temperatures on hands and feet, or a weakened immune system. To avoid misdiagnosis as nail psoriasis, lichen planus, contact dermatitis, nail bed tumors such as melanoma, trauma, or yellow nail syndrome, laboratory confirmation may be necessary. The three main approaches are potassium hydroxide smear, culture, and histology. This involves microscopic examination and culture of nail scrapings or clippings. Recent results indicate the most sensitive diagnostic approaches are direct smear combined with histological examination, and nail plate biopsy using periodic acid shift stain. To reliably identify non-dermatophyte molds, several samples may be necessary. There are four classic types of onychomycosis. Other conditions that may appear similar to onychomycosis include, psoriasis, normal aging, yellow nail syndrome, and chronic peronychia. In approximately half of suspected nail fungus cases there is actually no fungal infection, but only nail deformity. Because of this, a confirmation of fungal infection should precede treatment. Avoiding use of oral antifungal therapy in persons without a confirmed infection is a particular concern because of the side effects of that treatment and because persons without an infection should not have this therapy. Screening cases diagnosed by signs and symptoms is not cost-effective and routine testing is not necessary for oral treatment with terbinafine but should be encouraged prior to topical treatment with ifinaconazole. Most treatments are topical or oral antifungal medications. Topical agents include cycloperox nail paint, Amaralfine or Ifinaconazole. Some topical treatments need to be applied daily for prolonged periods. Topical Amaralfine is applied weekly. Topical Cycloperox results in a cure in 6% to 9% of cases. Amaralfine might be more effective. Cycloperox, when used with turbinafine, appears to be better than either agent alone. Oral medications include terbinafine, itraconazole, and fluconazole. They share characteristics that enhance their effectiveness, prompt penetration of the nail and nail bed, persistence in the nail for months after discontinuation of therapy. Ketoconazole by mouth is not recommended due to side effects. Oral terbinafine is better tolerated than itraconazole. For superficial white onychomycosis, systemic rather than topical antifungal therapy is advised. Chemical or surgical debridement of the affected nail appears to improve outcomes. As of 2014 evidence for laser treatment is unclear as the evidence is of low quality and varies by type of laser. As of 2013 tea tree oil has failed to demonstrate benefit in the treatment of onychomycosis. A 2012 review by the National Institutes of Health found some small and tentative studies on its use. Following effective treatment recurrence is common. Nail fungus can be painful and cause permanent damage to nails. It may lead to other serious infections if the immune system is suppressed due to medication, diabetes, or other conditions. The risk is most serious for people with diabetes and with immune systems weakened by leukemia or AIDS, or medication after organ transplant. 
diabetics have vascular and nerve impairment, and are at risk of cellulitis, a potentially serious bacterial infection, any relatively minor injury to feet, including a nail fungal infection, can lead to more serious complications. Infection of the bone is another rare complication. A 2003 survey of diseases of the foot in 16 European countries found onychomycosis to be the most frequent fungal foot infection and estimates its prevalence at 27%. Prevalence was observed to increase with age. In Canada, the prevalence was estimated to be 6.48%. Onychomycosis affects approximately one-third of diabetics and is 56% more frequent in people suffering from psoriasis. Research suggests that fungi are sensitive to heat, typically 40-60 degrees C. The basis of laser treatment is to try to heat the nail bed to these temperatures in order to disrupt fungal growth. As of 2013 research into laser treatment seems promising. There is also ongoing development in photodynamic therapy, which uses laser or lead light to activate photosensitizers that eradicate fungi. Distal subungual onychomycosis is the most common form of tinea unguium and is usually caused by trichophyton rubrum which invades the nail bed and the underside of the nail plate, white superficial onychomycosis is caused by fungal invasion of the superficial layers of the nail plate to form white islands on the plate. It accounts for around 10% of onychomycosis cases. In some cases, WSO is a misdiagnosis of keratin granulations which are not a fungus but a reaction to nail polish that can cause the nails to have a chalky white appearance. A laboratory test should be performed to confirm, proximal subungual onychomycosis is fungal penetration of the newly formed nail plate through the proximal nail fold. It is the least common form of tinea unguium in healthy people, but is found more commonly when the patient is immunocompromised. Candidal onychomycosis is candida species invasion of the fingernails, usually occurring in persons who frequently immerse their hands in water. This normally requires the prior damage of the nail by infection or trauma.